What's up my friends? Today we're going to be looping like a pro, meaning that we're going to be, we have this array of people with name, last name, and birthday, and we're going to be looping it using first the while loop, then the for loop, then the for each loop, then the map loop, then the filter loop, and finally we're going to use find to find only one item from the array, one person only. Okay, people, here we are. We have an array with name, last name, birth date, and we're going to start testing our stuff here. You can see that the original people has already been printed on the console. So the first kind of loop we're going to be seeing is the while. The while, my ignorant inside me tells that it's not useful at all. But if you want to learn it, no, no, really learn it because who knows when you're going to be using it. I haven't used it in a while. That's why I say it's useless. Um, it says that you're going to put here a condition that it's going to make the while loop until that condition is true. So it's always going to be it's always going to be looping. Like for example, if I say while true. I'm gonna do I'm doing an infinite loop. It's gonna infinitely loop from the line eleven to the line thirteen to the eleven to the twelve, thirteen, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and so and so. So uh I could do something like while people dot length it's more than i and then here I do i plus plus and then I can say console dot log people in the position i then i'm like basically printing each people Let's see here there it is dylan shyla bob and maria if we want to do it with a four it will be something like let let's use just another thing like let a equal zero a is less than people dot length a plus plus so basically the four says that you have to initialize your variable here then you put the while here the while condition and the in increasing or decreasing uh, step on the right on the, after the second semicolon and here I can do a console.log people in the position I let me comment this or let me just say here using for and in the other one we can say using while using while we save and refresh so basically oh my bad I have to use a instead of I so there it is we are using while Dylan Shyla Bob Maria and then using for Tom Dylan Shyla Bob and Maria so as you can see, we start with Tom in this one and with Dylan in this one. That means that I have to increase because he's saying at the position zero, then at the position one, and then I start console.login. I should start console.login at the position zero. So I could either put here minus one because I'm gonna increase it uh, to zero, or I can move this after printing and I can leave it as zero. If I refresh, then we start with Tom, and we start with Tom in the other one as well. The cool thing about while and for is that they give you a lot of control over your loop. Like you could say that you want to start at the third position here, and then you won't have to print Tom again. You know, and we're we're printing from from Bob. These two here. Let me comment the while. Show you the for so you don't have uh, a lot of noise. Then let's do the map. So the map, no, the for each comes now. So with people dot for each, and then we're gonna pass a function here, an arrow function or, or a normal function, it doesn't really matter. And we're gonna do the same console.log. But the cool thing is that we don't have to think much about anything now because it's gonna pass the person as a parameter, each one. So basically, person will Every time it loops, person will change value and will be first this first object, then the next one, then the next one, then the next one. So if I comment this, 
and now using for each here it is so using for each Tom Dylan Shyla Bob and Maria another thing you can do in a loop by the way if you want is to transform any data like you could say that you want person dot ID to be index because index is passed on the same on the second parameter the position that we're at is being passed as second parameter it doesn't have it's just like, like in the four that a represented the position that we're at and it's increasing every, on every cycle here index will auto increase on every cycle and we can use it if you want so if I refresh now you're gonna see that now they're gonna have like an ID here the ID ID the ID right so that's the for each the next one will be the map so the map is ideal for when you want to return a new array instead of modifying the old one like here like new array it's equal and let's say that I want to have my new array it's gonna have instead of the entire object here person it's only gonna have the name and last name so I can say here return on each cycle basically return the person name concatenated with the person last name for example and then if I print here console.log new array and I'm gonna also print the old array people right so you can see that both are there the new array is this one and the old array is this one so here it is let's refresh and here you see that you have the new array that it's only a bunch of strings like we want it but the original one the old one stays the same so this is super cool because you can do it only for a single thing that you want to do like if you want to create a ul let's say that I want, i'm doing html and i'm gonna do the eyes of my ul so basically here i can say that i want to concatenate it with a closing li and here i want to concatenate it with an opening li if i refresh now i'm building html you see i can put this into the dom and it's gonna work and I still leave this one as it was before so the last one no the the next one will be like a filtered array that it's basically for the purpose of filtering the people so I could say people dot filter and I'm only want let me let me calculate the age yeah let's say how to get age from birth date in JS so here it is now I can copy this solution and I'm gonna transform using let's say the 4 I'm gonna use the 4 or let's just use the footage that seems easier to read and I'm gonna also just like I added the ID I'm gonna add now to the uh, to the person I'm gonna add the age like this and here it will be person dot birth date right yeah I'm gonna comment this so I have the people with ages now and I'm gonna say that I wanna filter every person that has I have to pass a function to the filter returning true or false if I wanna filter that person or not so if person dot age it's bigger than 20 years so anyone older than 20 years is gonna be filtered and then I'm gonna console.log filtered people it's equal to person uh, to person not to filtered array so let's refresh 
So here's my filtered people. You see that originally we have Tom, but Tom is 17 years old. So it cannot be because he's not bigger than 20 years old. Shaila, Bob, Maria. If I do it the opposite, probably Tom will be the only one. Let's see. Yeah, here it is. Filtered people, only Tom. You see? And you can combine them. Like you can have, uh, because the cool thing about this one is that it returns an array, right? A new one. So I can say <clears throat> dot filter dot map. Let me grab the map that we have here. Yeah, this one. And I'm going to create an ally of them. So here, I append it to the end. So I'm doing a dot map to whatever people return it. So something like this. So now it's going to be the same Tom, but as an ally. Let's see. No, the thing is that it has to be the other. No, it's okay like that. No, it's not okay like that because we're going to be filtering the ally. So it cannot be like that. It has to be the other way. So let's do it here. I oh, know, I think it's person. Well, let's try it. Yeah, here it is. Look. So we have one ally only, Tom Bradley. Yeah, I was confused be, 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 because of the order. But since this one is being called first, and then we're calling the dot map, it's okay. So we, you can nest, basically, you can nest and have several calls because they return an array on itself. But the for each doesn't return an array, so I cannot do here a dot filter or anything like that. It, it won't work. So the last one will be the dot find. That's for finding only one person. But it, I thought it was cool to put it here in the video. So let, let's say Tom. I want to find Tom. And I know that I have a bunch of people here. And I know that Tom has the name Tom. So I can say people.find. And then I pass a function and I say if p person, I say here return person, it's equal to Tom. So basically he's gonna return true if person dot first name first no dot name it's equal to Tom. Let's see console dot log Tom. Let's see if Tom is not undefined. So here it is, here is Tom. We can do the same, let's say we we'll put a name that doesn't exist. Tom Tommy. We refresh it's gonna be undefined. You see here it is. Undefined. So that's it. Hope you like it.